Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Fenton Forest. Today, as you can see, we are getting started on baling up the straw. Uh, we're starting on the straw rather than the hay because we need to clear the two fields that we've got the straw on. Uh, this is because both fields are in need of plowing. So what we're going to do is once this is baled and we've used the auto stacker to collect up all the bales, uh, we're going to get the uh, 8400R, so the 8R John Deere. We're going to get, I think we've got a cull to plow on this map. Uh, we're going to go and grab that and we're going to get this field plowed. And once that's got started and off, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go and switch over to the other field, get that bailed and get that cleared off as well. If we have any time, uh, what we're going to do is try and get some of the hay bailed as well. Uh, but we'll see how we get far. Very much the priority in this time lapse is to get these fields clear. And as you can see, we are a good way through this field already. And we're getting a good number of bales. I mean, this is a, this is a really good number of bales off here. This was, a, and this was an oat field as well. So not a huge, not a huge yield that you would get off this. Uh, but it's still giving us a good number of bales. I think we're gonna have uh, maybe four-ish trips uh, with the auto stacker. Uh, to get these all collected up so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes in a moment uh, for now it's it's just a really good number I'm really pleased so where we're gonna put these bales uh, as you can see there's a barn just off to the right there uh, we're actually gonna drive past it in a minute we're just getting the last bale off and there we go so there's that there's the barn uh, grab the auto stacker with the fed now and as you'll see we'll get these all collected up uh, this auto stacker holds up to 16 bales uh, so uh, uh, yeah as I said I'm not 100% sure how many bales we actually have on this field but that is our first stack uh, into the barn and it and one of the things I missed last time which uh, which I, I think I mentioned in the commentary was we actually do have bales in that barn so we could have given our cows and uh, and our pigs and our horses some straw last time so uh, yeah, it was it wasn't so necessary to do these bales, but I'm glad we are we are going to be in a really great position for a good long while with these. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna not need straw, which is a good thing uh, for us because we are we, it allows us to put in uh, higher paying, uh, less uh, less work intensive crops, so things like canola and soybeans we will be able to get in this field. Uh, I do find a little bit of an oddity with this auto stacker where it takes a little bit of time when you've unloaded the auto stacker to reset itself. And so as, you, as you've seen as we've been going through this job, I'll come back to it and I'll then, the, the, the pickup will fold down and then fold up again. So yeah. And oh, ah, yes, I forgot about that. There was, uh, we had a bit of a bell explosion then. I think I got the two stacks too close to each other, and as a result, yeah, as a result, it made the bales explode. Uh, I also probably shouldn't have unloaded that at that point, because we're going to go and do another field of bales in a minute. Um, first, as I said, 8400, uh, or 8R, John Deere, and with the culture plow. So there we go. So we went through and we just double checked that this works as a uh, just i mean just works on the field make sure that it actually is uh, is working fine uh, it should be okay this is a this is a very rectangular field and I'm, I'm not expecting any issues so yeah as that's as that's working nicely uh we'll head back over to our other field now this field is a bigger field than our other one so uh, we're gonna get more straw off it we also had wheat on this field so again yield is higher and as you can see the number of bales the speed with which the bales are coming out of the baler on here is is a order of magnitude higher than the previous field um, I also actually I love on this time lapse you can see the uh, trees waving in the wind which is a really nice effect. Uh, but that's that's sort of by the by. Uh, lots and lots of bales off here. I hasn't to count. I think we got we got three and a bit stacks off the other field, so that would be a total of uh, what? 48, so maybe 52-ish bales. 
expecting more off here. Expecting uh, at least a couple of stacks more off here, I think. And uh, and that is just, yeah, just going to mean that cows and horses and pigs are not going to need any straw for a long, long while. What I would like to know from you guys, uh, and uh, and you know, we will, we will ask this in the uh, in the live stream as well. What should we plant in these fields? As I said, I'd quite like to do some crops that are uh, that are less well, uh, or, or that, that will pay well without doing things like straw and uh, and and having to do extra stuff like that. So I'm thinking along the canola, soybeans. Uh, what's the other crop? Uh, sunflowers. Sunflowers, we, I think we do have a corn header. So uh, we could do sunflowers. We could do corn. Uh, and in fact, we do. We will need to do corn. So all of these are are going to be required crops for us. Uh, because we're going to need we're going to need corn. We're going to need uh, soybeans or, 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 uh, or canola. And we, we, we got wheat. Um, so wheat and barley. Um, uh, we don't need that, but the, the pigs take such a mix of food that we do need to to make sure that we put some crops in that can do that. So maybe maybe it's it's the alternative or the, the next thing is to put in some soybeans and uh, and some corn on these two fields and get those and uh, and therefore get some feed for the pigs because we do need to do that. Uh, with any luck so we're gonna go and part we actually part this round here the idea was to to come back and get hay on this field uh, once we'd done the collecting of course the thing I forgot at the time and uh, in hindsight I kind of went oh you know should have should have thought of that uh, is that we're gonna be uh, plowing on this field so putting bales around the edge before this field is ploughed is actually going to give us a problem. So just over a row and a half there to uh, to get a full stack of 16 bales. So that's that's a huge number of bales up here. Really, really big number of bales. Uh, quite an impressive load for a field like this. Means, uh, as I said before, means that we're we're going to be good for both our. Uh, for, for all our animals, it's, it's going to keep us well uh, well done for all of our animals. Something we do need to do and might need to, to get sorted is I think uh, we we, need, uh, we do have some silage clamps here, so we, in future we are going to have to we are going to have to do some more grass and do pick it up and do silage with it. But again, that's maybe something we can do with corn in the future. So sort of our third set of harvests. Uh, maybe sugar beet and corn and give the combine rest even, and just sort of work our way through like that. So it's, it's, there's lots of options we have on this map. Uh, that is, our, I believe, our third stack of bales off this map, uh, off this field. Uh, so we're already up to 48 bales uh, off this field, which is, yeah, another another stack and we're, we're surpassing. Well, in fact, we're already surpassing. The, uh, the number we got off the other field and, and it's not really surprising this is a much bigger field and had a much higher yielding crop than was on the other field so yeah that, that makes a lot of sense uh, we're sort of building around the exploded stack at this point uh, so our John Deere our ATAR has finished so we'll go and get that started on the other field uh, there we go and uh, I think there's a, there's a little bit of an oddity in the moment, and we'll, we'll see what I mean as we uh, progress. I'm guessing there was a bale left somewhere on this field, and I've kind of gone back and looked and haven't seen it. But uh, yeah, there's there's definitely a little bit of weirdness that goes on as we're and it's as we're emptying this. And you'll, you'll see what I mean, and it's something uh, it's something that we don't correct uh, during this uh, time lapse. But we will correct next time. Uh, next time we're on here. There we go. I think we've got maybe two or yeah, I think we've got two and a bit stacks. Maybe. Or maybe not even that much actually. We're we're getting quite a lot off this rope. And there we go. Back and stacking these. So as I said, 
large number of hay bales here. Uh, sorry, large number of uh, straw bales here. Really, really going to be working in our favour. I'm intrigued. I'll be intrigued to see how many hay bales we get off this as well. Uh, because, yeah, there's, there's quite a few. So, yeah, not a full pack of bales here. Uh, and, yeah, I think we're going to have to get in there with uh, with our telehandler and, and sort of sort out those stats because they're, they're not good. Uh, back with the baler and uh, as I said we can't, there's no point in bailing on that field because we just cause problems so uh, let's get the edge of here and the first thing we uh, first thing we put out then was a straw bale, we had not quite got a complete bale last time so there is going to be that we're going to have to go in and uh, pick that up separately it's it's one of those bales that um, just, it just means that otherwise it's going to get mixed up in the hay bales and we don't really that we want to make sure that our hay bales are kept separate uh, one of the things of course uh, we're producing fewer hay bales here than we are straw bales so what we're going to have to do is when we're doing mixed ration for the cows we'll have to put straw in just means that straw is something that is much cheaper for us to create so there we go so that is all the baling done on those two fields here we are so all that remains is for me to say Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.